Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Clifton3D, and today I have a clip from the live stream done on Halloween evening. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. There is good news about Disney as well. You may have heard it, and I haven't done a video on it yet, but I think I probably should. Look, I'm not I'm I'm not one of those people who who can make big analytical videos about, you know, stock numbers and stuff like that. If you want that, go check out Valiant Renegade and my hashtag naughty YouTuber Mexican Iron Man. He does you know, they do they break those stuff down greatly. But what I can do is I can falsely read an article. When I say falsely, I mean that I just can't pronounce worth a shit. And, you know, I can't read worth a shit. But report, Ike Perlmutter deepens his audience, his, uh, uh, see, it already started, his aliens. Alliance, there we go, finally got it, with Nelson Pels, hands Disney stock over to Pels, wants to refocus the creative engine to drive profitable growth. Now, Perlmutter is, uh, you know, he's upset with Disney, one of the largest shareholders. He was part of the Disney and they essentially fired him because, you know, he didn't agree with all the woke bullshit nonsense that they were doing. So, this this is this is good news. A new report details that Ike Perlmutter and Nelson Pels have deepened their alliance as Pels and his train fund, uh, Trion Fund Management Group get ready for a proxy war war with Bob Iger and the Walt Disney Company. Essentially, what you're getting is Nelson Pels bought a huge amount of Disney stock and was like, okay, so I want to be on the board and I want nine other seats to start influencing the company. With Ike Perlmutter, what we could essentially see is a hostile takeover of the Walt Disney Company. And I hope it happens. I want to see this happen. Look, do I think that Perlmutter and Pels that they, you know, that they will have the vision that a lot of us fans would love to see? I don't know. I have no idea. I know that Nelson Pels has taken over companies before and turned them around, you know, got rid of the woke nonsense and got rid of all the woke nonsense, fired people and turned the companies around. And that's great. I would love to see this happen to Disney. This would indeed be awesome, great news. If it's true, if everything, you know, works out, if this is a hostile takeover and they actually do it. Perlmutter is initially aided Pels as he attempted to gain a board seat back in January by calling Disney directors and brokering and brokering meetings between Pels and then CEO Bob Chabeck report reports the Walt Street Journal. At the time, Pels was seeking a board seat for himself using 9.4 million share uh, shares valued at 900 million as leverage. Like, holy crap. Crap, huh? He believed that Disney is one of the most advent, uh, advantageous con consumer entertainment companies in the world with unrivaled global scale, irreplaceable brands, and opportunities to monetize its intellectual property IP better than its peers by leveraging the Disney flywheel uh, networks theme parks, consumer products, etc. However, he 
also believed that Disney's recent performance reflects the hard truth that it is a company in crisis with many challenges weighing on investor sentiment. And this is true. This is absolutely completely true. Like Disney, they're not doing anything. How are they making money at this point? Uh, you know, you have to ask. To that end, he identified multiple areas where the company was struggling, including corpor uh, corporate governance, strategy and operations, and capital allocation. And maybe they're woke bullshit nonsense, but hey, what do I know? In order to fix this, Pels and Trien indicated they would help the company develop an effective secession plan. Align compensation with performance, improve DTC, direct to consumer operating margins, eliminate redundant and or excessive costs, refocus the creative engine to drive profitable growth, enhance accountability on capital allocation, allocation and reinstate the dividend by 2025. Definitely. I would love to see them actually turn this around. This would be great. Pels would end his proxy battle for the board uh, for the board seat in February with Trion announcing in a press release, we congratulate Disney and Bob Iger on their recently announced operating initiatives, which are a win for all shareholders and broadly align with our thinking. We are pleased with the role that Trion has uh, was able to play in helping the focus the uh, to focus the board to take decisive actions which we believe to lead to a better financial results. We were also pleased to see the company's pledge to restore the dividend. Now the thing is, yes, they said, yeah, when Bob Iger came back, it was like, oh, yeah, we're going to do great stuff. Oh, yes, everything's going to be great. You know, promising all these things like, oh, yeah, we're going to stay out of politics. Oh, yeah, we're going to make uh, good stuff. For, you know, how did that turn out? He added, accordingly, we are withdrawing our nomination of Nelson Pels as a director to allow the board of Disney uh, and Disney's leadership team to focus on creating long-term shareholder value without the dist distraction of a proxy contest. Hmm. Now it's about execution and ensuring best in class corporate governance going forward. We will be watching and rooting for the company's success. And what did they do? Nothing, nothing at all. However, since the proxy battle ended, Perlmutter was let go from his position at Marvel Entertainment with the executive telling the Wall Street Journal he was fired because he wanted to keep costs down. He said, I have no doubt that my termination was based on fundamental differences in business between my thinking and Disney leadership, because I care about return on investment. Yeah. Especially, Perlmutter noted his focus was not on how big the box office grosses and claimed only people in Hollywood focus on the box office gross. All they talk about is box office, box office. I care about the bottom line. I don't care how big the box office is. Only people in Hollywood talk about the box office. He also disputed claims that he was let go due to redundancies and downsizing at the company. It was merely a convenient excuse to get rid of a longtime executive who dared to challenge the company's way of doing business. Indeed. 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 Not only did Perlmutter allege he was let go due to his desire to keep costs low, but the Walt Disney Company has rolled out a stirring 
of theorat a uh, theatrical I can't speak losses like likely losing the company tens of millions of dollars if not more more it also does not appear to be a growing its flagship streaming service Disney Plus and CEO Bob Iger has also admitted the company created a number of programs for the streaming service that were not driving subscribers. The company's stock price has also dipped below $80. But anyway, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, I do hope, and I hope really a lot that this does become a hostile takeover and that things actually can turn around. I hope that they can do it because <sighs> new studio star starting out the daily wire. It looks like they're doing a lot of good, good stuff. And I'm proud to see that. And I think there are also more studios. There are more creators that are doing things, but I don't think you're going to be getting the quality. Now, and, and it's kind of sad to see a big company like Disney fall. I mean, part of me wants to see it fall. Part of me wants to see it burn to the fucking ground. Get rid of it all. Sell everything off until it's just a shell. That clip was brought to you by the live stream from Tuesday trailers. Anyway, those are my thoughts about the Pearl Mutter and Pels situation. I hope that it happens. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. And hey, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.